Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel for service now hacks. In this video, I'm going to show the step by step process of enabling a custom theme. Currently in the Polaris view, you know, in the next experience UI, we have only two themes. If, if you go to preferences, go to theme one by default, which is available. Another one is dark theme. Right, we have two themes which are already available in my system. But if you want to show, you know, if you want to create your own, you know, theme according to your organization level, then you can go ahead and create it. Let's get started with the steps. So, first go to themes, themes under now experience framework, open the themes. And if you want to check the current uh, theme which is available, you can just type Polaris. See, this is the theme which is available by default. And based on these themes, the configuration is made here. So accordingly, we will also create our own theme, right? Let's get started with a new process. Click on new. So provide the name. I'm giving name as my PDI theme. Just save this. See, once this is saved, you have to add the UX theme styles here. So in the Polaris, we already have so many styles. We have to add by default colors, US 16 dashboard visibility, vis uh, visualization compatibility, shape and form, and typography. So we'll add these four you know, themes as a by default. Go to style, uh, search. First is color, just add it. So we'll add all four like that. UI dashboards is, has been added. Now shape and form. Another one is typography. So once these all are added, just save this. So now all the default you know, UX theme styles are added. We want to create our own custom theme now. So for getting the custom theme, just click on the style, search here, click on new. So let's make this big. So I'll give you can give anything here and type can be selected as core for now. So and we should have a so we have a base proper base theme and properties theme and these are the numbers where we need to add it how we can take this number i'll let you know i'll just submit this for now see now my pdi theme has been added here now to take the numbers you know it, it is a rgb number red green blue number where we need to take it first go to this url themes tool theme.deo prototypes.com under this go to colors and we have a color generator i'll go version one in this you have to select your own custom theme whatever it is required so if you want this theme to be added as your custom theme select this and take a hexadecimal value once the hexadecimal value is selected go to google search with hexadu rgb converter just open the first one whatever it has come just paste the you know hexadecimal value which I have taken color code just convert it see you are getting us you know number the same number you have to add here if you go to my theme which i have created see these numbers so you can add different different numbers different different theme color code you know uh, based on your you know look and feel how you want to see your you know custom theme so just add that so accordingly once the you know color you have got it just save this once this is done since we already have a colors which is a default theme from service now you know and we have my pdi theme which is a core theme you have to make the order as one and just update this See now my PDI theme is order one, so it will always look for this. Once this is done, uh, go to system properties. So 
So here you have to add a new property and make it string and the, you know, whatever the theme which we have created newly, go to copy this ID, copy this this ID and paste it here and save this. See, once this is saved, if you go back to your previous page, see the look and feel is completely different now. If you reload this also, see it means users are able to see the different theme. So since this is added as a default, every user will get this as a default. And as I have shown you earlier, if you go to preferences, the theme section is completely gone. Even though you have a property, see this is the property, even though you have a property glide UI Polaris dark theme is enabled to true, I know you are not able to see the custom theme. This is because in my PDI, the service now has taken the custom theme now, since we have made the order as one, you know, currently, and this is a core one, and we don't have any new variant to be selected. So if you want a dark theme, so you can just go here, just search with the dark, see you are able to get the dark here. Just add it like this and save this. See once this is done, so dark is a variant you have got it. And if you reload now, so this theme is a basic theme and under this you are able to see the preferences theme and you are still able to see the dark theme of it so you can able to see the default theme and the dark theme so both you are you know you are able to see but if you want to add some more variants so the my you know custom theme has some you know coloring but if the user want different different types of color with a different different variant you can still able to add that so for that which you need to do is go to color generator you know, select your color, like if you want to green, yellow. So with the different, different variant, whatever you want, you go that and select that hexag value, then come here and convert that into a RGB value code, right? Once these codes are converted, now you go to your new one. So I'm creating two more variants for now. Go to here and click on new, and I'm giving us green as one variant since those all are variant so my default theme will always be you know my default theme with the color which i'm giving and you want user to be selected with different different variant then you have to select the type as variant so i have already taken the colors according to my you know uh, look and feel and i have added the you know colors here and submit this so this is one variant which i have added green and save this once this is done, go to here. I'm adding one more variant, sky blue. This I have, I have already taken those hexadecimal you know, values. So once this is submitted, just click on this and save this. <clears throat> See, once these two are saved, we have a dark as a variant, we have a sky blue as a variant, and we still have a green as a variant. And my PDI theme is the one which is already available, right? And now if you reload your browser, and if you go to preferences, see you have a lot many themes available. You can go to sky blue and select, see, the blue variant has appeared. If you reload here, the entire thing is blue and I'll go to preferences and change it to green. See, this has been updated completely to green. So you see, now the custom theme has been applied and accordingly you can also set your preferences and same way you can also you know give that preferences option to your users also. So that's it for this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you all.